I figured I'd do a different type of video today. I'm kind of walking around my property. And right now I'm standing in one of my logging areas that I've developed over the last couple years. This is just a flat behind my uh, my property there. I have the other logging um, staging area um, just before you get into the tree line. But my uncle and I processed some of this firewood yesterday and uh, we have some more logs here. Some of it's pump, punky ash, uh, but I got ash trees all over the place that need to come down in this location. Especially if we're going to be working here because I don't want a widow maker to take us out, but it's pretty sad what happens to these ash trees. But I cleared this area last year, made this trail. I rented a E35 Bobcat excavator and a single day I was able to clear all this land when we get up here, I'll turn around and give you a better view of where we just were by those logs. But I cleared this whole area with that excavator. I got the underbrush off of it. And then I even put a little drainage ditch through the center of that area. It used to hold water, but um, it seems to have subsided now. But you can get a lot done with a big E35, I mean, my E20, I use mainly to maneuver logs and everything, but uh, that E35 can clear some serious land, especially with a um, grapple or a thumb. This is a pretty cool tree. I've heard something about these cherry trees. It's called root rot from the base of the trunk up about six feet the cherries start to rot out and this one is definitely doing that it seems like it's the older mature cherries too at least in my woods here well I hope all is well things are real busy lately with me um, still, let's start with home projects. So working on clearing some of this land back here, processing firewood all the time, um, which is daunting, but, uh, that's doing good. My parking lot, I haven't finished yet. I've been driving over it with the tractor and the excavator and my truck packing down those ones and twos. And I just got a quote for 20 tons of asphalt grindings. I think I'm going to put those in there and uh, level it out a little more. Right now, I got a pretty substantial grade um, to allow the water to run off, but I'm going to level it out a little more with those grindings. Garden's taken off. I mean, the corn's probably, I don't know, it seems like it's a little behind. I know corn likes nitrogen, and I didn't use much manure in this topsoil this year. So I'm going to try that next year to see if the growth, if they mature a little quicker. But, um, I think within a week I'll have kernels worth eating. And then uh, the pumpkins, they're really taking off. I brush hog this field down. Got my little pine thicket there. My burn pile location with some kindling wood in there that I let dry out all summer and then I'll stack it in the woodshed just branches and sticks i find i kind of break them into like 10 inch pieces and throw them in those totes curly's doing well can't complain got to find gratitude in all that you do don't listen to your brain telling you you can't do something just push through it, push through the struggles, the insecurities, stay focused on you, surround yourself with people that make you better, cut out the ones that um, add negativity to your life, it'll go a long way, um, it's a work in progress, one day at a time, 
Thanks for watching.